Every single day is another opportunity to go outside and see the beauties of the world. But you, you decide to stay inside it with every passing minute. You miss out on all the essential needs of human life, missing out on love and belonging which stops you from climbing the pyramid and achieving the self-esteem and confidence required for your goals. You spend your time gaming, beating your meat and having goals that you'll never meet. You lack the social skills to make friends and end up consumed with that social media, your games and their adult content while the outside world's beauty develops and you do the opposite. You don't know how to fix your situation, forever ill-fated to live a life rotting away inside. Try going outside for once. Hey, I'm Elite, and I'm gonna give you the blue print. Matter of fact, I'm gonna give you the red print, cause no one around here has blue pill. Some of you guys don't get enough D. And I'm not referring to the thing you find on Grinder. I'm talking about vitamin D. Cause some of you guys do not go outside and step outside of your room nearly enough. Go ahead, try to argue with that. The likelihood is you spent the last week in bed on the harbour playing video games. 80% of your time is spent doing these bad activities. Most people don't really go on walks, meet friends, enjoy nature or any of that. I bet in the last month, most people haven't even touched a blade of grass or a leaf. There's a range of studies that support this idea of going outside regularly and improving your mood. My favourite being a study which proves that moments of awe in nature improves patience and generosity. These traits make you stay on your grind or get a girlfriend and socialise. And I know you want that you horny fuck, but the sad thing is, most people just don't want to do this. I've got a challenge. Try and name three parks in your area that you've been through in the last year. Go on, and no, going in the grass in Pokemon or dominating on my park in NBA 2K does not count as a park. You wonder why you have social anxiety, never had a girlfriend, scratch that, you've never even had a friend. As upsetting as this is and cutthroat, when you stay inside, you become a creep. You're that meme in the party of the guy with the drink in his hand staring everyone down. You start becoming depressed because you don't connect with nature and you don't connect with other humans. Humans are social. I'm a human, I didn't even realise I was a social I didn't realise I was supposed to be social. That's part of the hierarchy of needs, you need that social aspect in your life. You see, comfort is the key to failure, and staying inside is the easy thing to do. The thing that provides comfort, it's easier to play games all day and not go outside because it's raining or cold, or the walk is just too long. But the hard thing is to stretch your day, going out and improving your mental health and preparing your mind for the day ahead of you, learning to appreciate the world you live in. These are the things that will make you successful, and yeah, they're not easy. But imagine playing a game on beginner moon. That shit is boring. Admittedly, I used to stay inside and play games all day, eating pizza, because I thought walking through nature was a waste of time. Little did I know that a very computer chair that made me so happy was slowly destroying my health, and the solitary atmosphere of my room was terrible for my mental health. I was a prisoner, by decision. If you got the freedom to go outside, go out and exercise your liberty. You need to go outside and connect to real people, and not these fake personas that you meet in the metaverse, on Discord, in the games. They're not your friends, they're not real people, they're, they're fake personalities that have been put on. And when you do this, you start to when you do this, you start to appreciate life so much more. Instead of beating your meat all day and becoming that guy in the comment section of the hub. The, dif the difference between the guy that looks ugly, smells terrible, struggling to talk to girls and make friends, and the guy that goes outside, indulging in nature, and becomes the person that he wants to be. The difference is, one guy decides to stay inside and play video games, browsing the internet and sending his dopamine system into overdrive, lowering his attention span, terrible social skills, and overall bad health. There's two paths and it's all on you. Stay indoors all the time and be a loser, and don't get anything accomplished. Be that guy with bad skin, bad breath, bad everything. Or actively go, out or actively go outside and play a role in this world, and do something commendable, instead of rotting away and living off only fans and Kentucky Fried Chicken. The choice, that's yours. If you want to level up beyond belief, going outside and showing the world what you can do and becoming successful and proving wrong everyone that doubted you, your crush from high school that left you on red, that guy that said you're a loser and won't be anything, improving every aspect of your life, going outside, doing the things that matter, leaving no pages unturned. You should subscribe to my channel, at least someone's trying to improve around here. And remember, if you ever have trouble getting laid, you can always smash that like button.